Copley. This week's guests, TV 10's Angela Hampton, the Rocket River Rounders, and recorded live at the Parting Glass, Donnie Brook Fair. And now, here's Rick, the matinee lady. Every week on Upbeat, we have the best and brightest from upstate New York, and today's guest certainly fits the bill. It's Angela Hampton from News 10, uh, Albany, New York's ABC affiliate, correct? That's right. Thank you for being here. Well, thanks for inviting me. Now, you and your husband are here um, as of, you moved up in August, correct? Right, late August. And you came from the South? I came from the South, right. Uh, Raleigh, don't have North an Carolina. Accent. <laughs> I have a little bit of one, which I hope I hold on to. My husband has a very strong Southern accent. Does he? Yeah, he turns a lot of heads when uh, we're talking up here. But we're from the Raleigh, Durham area in North Carolina. And so this has been a big change for us, although a pleasant one, I should say. Do you like uh, upstate New York? I do so far. I have to admit that when I first heard of Albany, I think I associated it with New York city and I thought hmm people are going to be rough and abrasive and I was I think building up a little bit of a defense for that when I came up and and I found out that it's nothing like that the people here are very warm and friendly all my dealings with people here and trying to find a place to live and get cars registered and you know get signed up for the phone bill and everything else have been extremely positive folks have yeah, been great the south is generally known as friendly and the north is kind of looked on as hostile but we're actually very nice up here we don't I bite you know hard. learned that is definitely the case right and um now you're on uh the co-anchor at 6 and 11, and 11 correct right and um are you thinking about maybe moving? Are you going to try and get onto a network after you've been here a few years, or <laughs> is this like a stepping stone for stepping something? Stone. Or you know, I, you know, I assume you're relatively young. Uh, I never ask anyone <laughs> their age. But, it's a smart uh, move, right? Uh, but uh, do you kind of think maybe this might be a way to get somewhere else? Or I don't know. I um, decided when I came here that uh, this was my next challenge in my career. I had been a reporter and fill-in anchor in Raleigh, and I decided that I wanted to do more anchoring as well as reporting when I made my next move. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a three-year contract, so I'm definitely here for three years, but my attitude coming in is that I'm going to be here forever because I feel like that's the only way that you can really get to know people in a community, um, cover the news properly, and truly care about what's going on. And so far, I really, really like it here. And, you know, three years or two and a half years from now is a little too far for me to, to say whether I'm going to stay or not. Sure. Now, um, is there a lot of crime here compared to where you were? Um, or is it about the same? Or it, it seems to be about the same. I was struck by some of the real um, bizarre kind of crimes. There seemed to be some pretty uh, heinous, I think is the word, um, murders and that kind of thing when I first got here, just bizarre kind of things. But um, it, like I say, those kind of fit into that bizarre uh, off-the-wall category, and the actual crime doesn't really seem to be any worse than the Raleigh-Durham area. Um, it doesn't seem to be that bad here. I mean, it's a problem everywhere, obviously, but yeah. it doesn't seem to be anything earth-shattering. Um, at Channel 10, I know they had very popular uh, anchors. They had uh, Marcy Elliott and mm -hmm. Dick Wood for years, and they seemed to be doing well. They had the quote-unquote blue-collar audience. And uh -huh. This is long before you were here, and then they were bought out by someone, and they kind of cleaned house. Mm -hmm. And uh, they seem to be really not doing well, and, and lately I've heard the ratings have picked up. So. <laughs> Well, it's nice to hear. I, I, I can't speak too much to what happened before me. I know that there was a change a few years back, and uh, a lot of new people came in, and folks were replaced, which is what happens in this business, uh, as, as you know. Oh, and, um, they're, they're try they've been trying to replace me for months. <laughs> Only you've held on there. That's good. But, um, there have been a lot of, uh, I guess I'd say, positive changes in the last six months. Um, at least since I've been here, they've changed the set, and there's a real dedication to um, trying to really hit the issues that seem important to our viewers. We have something that's called a viewer comment line, which I think has been around for a little while, but it's something that, you know, we actually play three or four of the comments that people phone in to us, good or bad, mm -hmm. and it gives us a real good feel for what people are concerned about what they're interested in seeing on the news and we try and and you know give them that um, hopefully we do a decent job but the station is really trying to um, to come out and, and be as strong as it can be. Everybody mm -hmm. there works 110 percent covering stories and breaking stories and getting the word out and so I think that's one of the things that attracted me to Channel 10. 
This is a dedication. Um, what does Angela Hampton like to do when she's not working? <laughs> when I'm do you, not working. Do you snow ski or do That was one of my challenges this year. I've never been snow skiing until about a month ago. And my husband's a pretty good skier. And with the ski slopes within an hour's driving distance, that's incredible to me. So we decided, yeah. okay, this is the year we're going to do it. And we actually bought my husband's uh, aunt and uncle's skis, if that made any sense. And mm -hmm. I thought, well, we'll give it a shot. And um, I went to Mount Snow a few weeks ago go and took some lessons and fell down an awful lot but enjoyed it for the most part and went back to Stratton a couple weeks ago and, and did a little bit better. I still fell down plenty of times but decided that it's something that I definitely want to pursue. So I hope to go this weekend. How about, <laughs> oh yes, uh, how about the snowboarding? I haven't tried that. I've I seen people doing it and I cannot, I, I gotta get myself on two skis first <laughs> and stand up. Okay. So. Well, this is great. Well, I appreciate you being on the show, sure. and uh, maybe we'll have you back uh, in another year or two Check and we'll back see up what's on going me. on. Yes. Right. Well, thank you so much. Okay, thanks. Nice to meet you, Angela. Here's a song we got from Fats Waller. This is called You Look Good to Me. One, two, one, two, three, four. So good to me It's so nice to be with you And though I know we hardly know each other I'd like to introduce you to my mother Sweetheart number one Well, well, it could be such fun Keep in steady company Well, I only wish I knew If I was kind of good to you Cause baby, you look good to me song by Don Lang. It's called Here's to You Rounders. I never knew my granddad. He was always on the bum. Every September he'd grab him a southbound and he'd ride Then long about Christmas, me and my brothers would give a few coins in the mail We couldn't spend them, they were all they could send from that Mexico City jail Back in the thirties, when the going got rough Old granddad, he hit the road Mother was young and she only remembers his name Then grandma got work in the old cannon factory Took in 
lonesome walsh on the side She promised herself she'd never forget The promise she kept till she died And here's to you rounders and here's to you railroad bums I hope you make it home soon Here's to the women that married for love And lived with men in the moon one time near the end, he rolled into town He was riding that greyhound line Well, I guess he got old And them boxcars are harder to climb And he dropped his last dime In a call to my grandma But no, was her only reply She slammed down the phone Cursed him in German but I saw the tear in her eye And here's to you rounders And here's to you railroad bums I hope you make it home soon Here's to the women that married for love And lived with men Always on the bum. The Salvation Army wrote us a note when he died. Now me and my brother still cling to the memory of a face we never did see. Like some foreign coins lying cold in the pocket of the young boy's dirty blue jeans. And here's to you rounders and here's to you railroad bums I hope you make it home soon Here's to the women that married for love And lived with men in the moon Here's to you rounders and here's to you railroad bums I hope you make it home soon Here's to the women that married for love and live with the man in the moon. Sit down. Oh, he's 
Change your mind. 